So now I have this little tape recorder all on perf boards with the US with the um, uh, Bluetooth receiver. Um, I have a uh, LM7805 to blow, to provide five volts of uh, power to to Bluetooth. This is the playback circuit. So all the shielding, I have all the wires from there actually shielded and then grounded through these little ground wires right here. Um, and then I have, the biggest thing is this common ground between the uh, actual tape player and uh, its power source, which ultimately I'm gonna bring it to the same power source. But if you take away that grounding, it becomes um, extra noisy. So um, even though it already has a common ground, but you can hear it right now, it's loud. So, um, so in order to prevent that, um, I have the big common ground and it's nice and quiet now. And even if I raise the volume on this guy, you barely hear it. You just hear the, the hiss of the speaker, the actual amp. And if I turn on what I pre-recorded on this. And I recorded it using this circuit. Oop, I just popped out of there. I had to figure out a nice mechanism to keep that in. Um, and now I have this separate grounding wire shielding this, so I, when, I, when I touch it, it doesn't give a buzz. If I take that out and I touch it, you hear that buzzing noise. And that's all fixed by just grounding that. So, overall, we have a successful tape recorder um, and shielding on all the wires um, that produce an audio signal. And like I used before, it's going out to this uh, quarter inch adapter uh, to a little guitar amp um, for now. So uh, in any case, uh, that works pretty well. So shielding and grounding is important. Um, but without the grounding, that's without the grounding. So it needs grounding. <coughs> Excellent. Well, thank you for watching.